In this video, I want to show you how you can document your Power BI reports easily using a dynamic data dictionary. I'm going to explain to you what it is, how to do it, and also why creating a dynamic one saves you a lot of time in the future when it comes to documenting an ever evolving Power BI report. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So let's start by defining what a data dictionary is. It's essentially a list that catalogs the structure and content of your data in your reports and it's meant to help users or other developers to understand how the data is being used and processed within your reports. In, in our case with Power BI reports, we want to catalog calculations like measures or calculated columns that we make, how we do them and why we do them in the first place in context to let's say the business requirements. It's important to have a data dictionary because it gives context to data to both end users of your reports and also to anyone who wants to work with it, ensuring that knowledge is documented for you if you forget them or for others to consult to. So here's an example report that I have with a bunch of tables and columns. If you look at the order details table here, I created a sample measure, uh, total sales, which just calculates the total sales by multiplying quantity and unit price columns. And in this report that we're creating here, we want to create a data dictionary page to help users understand what we are do calculating and how we're calculating them. And you know, to do that, you can just simply create a table somewhere and type total sales and say what the total sales do. Um, but think about it for a second. What if the measure changes? That table that you've created is static, which means that every time you update your reports, the table needs to be updated manually. And that's not what we're trying to create here in this video. So let me show you how you can create this dynamic data dictionary table. First, what you want to do is go to the model view and under the properties pane here, we're gonna go to our order details and click total sales measure to show up its properties. So here, the first thing that we'll need to do is update the description of this total sales. So basically what we're doing is we're just trying to add a bit of description on what we're doing for this measure and we're putting it in the metadata of this measure so in the description pane here and normally you would do this because you would want other users for example if they work with your model for example if they hover over uh, that measure you, they will see it in the description here but because this description is a metadata of our measure this means that we can use it for something else so to start accessing the metadata of your report you will need to download and install the DAX Studio external tool. It's a free external tool that you can install with your Power BI desktop. And if you have a problem with it and you want to know more about how to use the DAX Studio, I actually covered it in a separate video. So go check it out if you haven't yet. If you have it already, however, you just simply click the DAX Studio from the external tools. This will automatically open up the data model for you. And you'll see in the left hand side, you will have access to all the tables and all the columns in your model, in this case, in our Power BI report. Now, we're not interested in the tables here in the model. What we're interested in is the DMV tab on the bottom left hand side of DAX Studio. So this gives you access to a lot of different tables that contains metadata um, of your Power BI report. So the tables that we're interested in would be prefixed by TM schema. And you'll see that TM schema will have a lot of different tables here that we can use. The one that actually we're interested in is the TM schema measures. So if we double click that, for example, it will generate us a select statement, which if you run it, you will see that it returns us 
the measure that we've created, which is the total sales, along with the name, the description, and other properties of this measure, such as things like the expression itself, the format string, when it was modified, things like this. There are other different tables that you can explore and check out what they do. Um, but for this demo, for example, we will just look at the measures uh, table because this is what we want to document in the meantime. However, for example, let me just give you a quick example. So let's say we want to just see the tables. So if you double click on the TM schema tables here and you hit run, you will see that it gives you the list of all the tables in your data model. Same thing with the columns. So for example, TM schema columns, if you double click on that and hit run, it will give you all the different columns that is available in your data model. So pretty handy. However, for now, as I said, we'll focus on the measures. So we'll just go back to that TM schema measures. We'll run that. And from here, we'll need three different things. So I'm gonna open Notepad here and we just need to copy a couple of things so that we can get this data into a Power BI report. So the first thing is the server name. Now here you can get the local host server name at the bottom right hand side. You can just simply click this, copy, and it will be in your clipboard. Next is the model uh, ID. Now you can access that by going to the metadata. You will see the metadata name here. If you right click and copy database ID, that will give you the database ID that we need. The third thing that we need is obviously the select statements to access the specific table that we want. In this case, we want to access the measures table. So we'll just copy that as well. So now that we're done uh, with DAX Studio, we'll just simply close it don't save we're gonna go back to our reports here and we're gonna do get data analysis services we're gonna copy the server here the database id that we have here we're gonna select imports and in the dax query we're going to simply paste this select statements that we have to say just give me the measures table We'll say use my current credentials, it doesn't really matter. But here you go. So you now have access to that metadata table that you can import in your Power BI report. So let's simply load that for now. And let me show you the power of it. So it loaded as query one, we'll just simply rename that as uh, measures. Maybe not. So we'll name this one data dictionary so now we will drag in the name and I believe description and maybe we can even drag the expression here so here now we have a table we can simply name this as our data dictionary we can plug it into any page in our report and this will automatically update every time you change the metadata of the measures or if you add new measures in this exact same report. So now you're probably thinking to yourself, okay, we've done all of that work. How is this dynamic at all? So let's give you an example. So let's say uh, let's, uh, we want to create a new measure. Let's say we want to create uh, total sales last year. And I mean, it doesn't really matter. We're just gonna do total sales whatever right so this creates a new measure here total sales last year and um, let's update this description in our model view as well so let's pretend we created the total sales last year measure and let's say this measure calculates total sales but only for the previous year so pretty simple. So now we've created that measure and now we want to catalog it in our table here. Now, instead of manually updating our table here, we simply just need to right click and hit refresh. And you'll see, voila, you now have that new measure 
added automatically in our data dictionary here, including the description that we've added, as well as the expression. So this means that every time you update your measures or you update your model, this table will automatically get updated as well. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is to create something like a dynamic data dictionary for your Power BI reports. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.